And that is, you're the filmmaker of According to My Mother. Yes. And you're, I just saw the short of your, the short of your, uh, of your, according to your mother. Yeah. Your mother was a very tough mother. She's a character. A, a, a character. <laughs> she, she was, she was like a, a monster, a monster. You know, have you gone to church? And and why don't you tell me, and rather than me telling you how fantastic, <laughs> how interesting your movie was, why don't you explain to me what the whole your whole movie was about? Oh, sure. It's about a relationship between a mother and son, a single mother and an only child. And uh, he's gay and a struggling artist living in New York City. And his mom lives in California, safely tucked away in a a suburb in an insulated, very religious Korean community. Very religious. Yeah. I mean, she, she yes. kept has, and she didn't approve of the lifestyle. No, not at all. Oh. Very, very homophobic, and very. And you were in, you were in a play. Yeah, yes. And here you were in this play because and it was a wonderful play. He described the play real quickly, and then you can tell me what oh, she sure. did. But we're going to give like away a, the whole plot. It's like a very downtown theater piece uh, that we shot at the Crane Theater on Fourth Street. And, um, I would love to see that play. It looked fantastic. <laughs> we had some great dancers and drag queens, and and people um, held. They put a spotlight on their face, right, and they, they said, uh, they, they, and "Tell me what they said. Tell me some of the characters." I forget. Oh sure, it it, it was called. Uh, this is Identity us. Square. Identity Square. Identity Square. Identity Square. Identity Square. Identity yeah. Square. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we made it up. Play. We made it up for the movie. Mm -hmm. so. But it was so amusing because <laughs> everyone, uh, tell me the, the the identities that you touched on. Just a real oh, quick sure. list. Like um, uh, Oriental, mm -hmm. straight white, male. straight white male, gay face, uh, Latina, basic. mask, basic, they. Just sort of like right. calling out um, different. Identifying right. Labels. And so anyway, so your mother had seen somewhere an ad for because she, she didn't. You said you didn't see it on Korean uh, sitcoms or something. Uh -huh. She why are, where is the big movie? You know when are you going to make money on this? Is yes. it on Broadway? Not on Broadway. Right. Oh, off Broadway. There's no money on off Broadway. <laughs> Right. You know, and you yeah. talk about sending your mother with some money, and she says, I can use more, or Andy can use more. I mean, your mother was just like, get out of that business. You've got to get on Broadway. You've got to make money. Right. And you got to yeah. get out of your lifestyle. That's, that's her. <laughs> yep, yep. She's just she's hoping I can support her any day now. Right, right. <laughs> was, was that, is this, is this reality? Uh, or was this written? Based on a true relationship between my mother and I, and then we sort of lifted into a realm of fiction and comedy. Yes, yes. And this, I'm gonna, I'll give away the short plot. I hope they turn into a better, a bigger movie. But the aunt dies. Yeah. And so you, she says, Auntie has died. So right. you run out to the West Coast to yep. join your family and to mourn your aunt. Right. And then she announces to you that your mother, your aunt gave her body to science. Yep. There's not going to be any funeral. Right. And she's out shopping and buying nothing but bras. Just, and you said, Ma, I didn't come here to go shopping with you. Right. I came here to see the family, to spend some time with you and the family. Exactly. And so to trick it up from there, you end up at a, a, which is so absolutely brilliant that I actually cried in the scene, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Describe to me. Actually, describe to me the the scene where you finally they come they take the the aunt's body away and there are all kinds of things your mother wants to immediately tear the dairy clothes off the bed. But finally, right. we get to where we're having the family dinner at last. Right, right. In honor of your dear aunt. Yes. <laughs> now explain describe that screen to me that scene to me and if you had any memory of that prayer, I would love to hear it. Oh, oh, well. Um. <laughs> Uh, so it's a, a dinner scene that you think will finally be the, the morning and the sort of in place of a funeral, the family coming together to uh, grieve and to wish well the passing of their, his aunt and his um, mother's sister. And uh, instead of actually addressing grief or dealing with it, um, they uh, have a what seems like will be a normal Korean dinner. Um, and the only odd thing is uh, Daniel's mother forces him to pray 
to um, no wait to you're you're video. Daniel in the or yes. uh, least, I don't yeah. I have facial blindness so, but <laughs> I don't want to say that you know, but anyway she insists you she says pray right. and uh, the the son who, I was, uh, who plays you or is you right. I, forget, I get confused in all this because I have facial blindness and you say I don't want to pray right and she insists you pray yeah. because she's mad at you for not being religious. Yes. So tell me, up. tell me, just remember parts of that prayer because it brought me to tears. Oh. oh. I can tell you, let me tell you what I remember. <laughs> sure. Dear, dear father or mother goddess, and if you exist, I'm sure she's in heaven because auntie, auntie understood me and auntie, you began describing everything a mother should do. Auntie right. was always thrilled to know what I was doing. Auntie wanted to come to my place. Yeah. Auntie told me, you know, and aunt, and she had died a horrible, painful death of liver cancer. And then she said, and, all, and if there is a heaven, I loved it because the way you, this prayer was such, I was as an atheist, I, I just was <laughs> turned on by this secular <laughs> prayer. If heaven does exist, she's certainly up there having Tea with George Washington. Uh, tell me, so you, I, I, just, I have. Yeah. You must know. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And you wrote it? We wrote it together, yeah. And you don't even, you can't quote to me the scripts. I've got to yeah. tell you what I just yeah. saw, what well, I was so talking I'm about. your experience. Uh, and, 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 and Auntie always, always encouraged me, and I could always confide in Auntie, and Auntie would want to come to my shows. Yeah. And Auntie. Like and, and what it really was is you start to have you talk about auntie, your mo you could tell that your mother at a certain point where she had made you pray because it was really a secular prayer and it was all the secular prayer like you know the god or goddess and heaven or, or I hope she's like chasing around the clouds something about flying around the clouds that if there is a heaven <laughs> she's certainly there because that's the kind of wonderful human being that auntie was. Right. Oh, what a, what a, you could, it was like giving, uh, the, I've come to, to, I've come to, what, I've not come to bury Caesar, I've come to honor him. It's sort of like, a, it was almost that great of a tribute to your auntie. Wow. And, and you could tell what was so fantastic. Your mother insisted you make the prayer, and then you went on and on and on. <laughs> and auntie, and the, I don't know about the rest of the time, but auntie was the, I mean, your mother was the focus of this, right? Yeah, right. And right. you could see her, she was like, this prayer is getting to be too much. And yeah, she's the one that insists that you say the prayer. Right, exactly. And yeah. just, just sum it up. Tell me what the, the emotional thing was and, and what reaction you've gotten to this, this wonderful thing that you've created. Yeah, well, this is our second screening at NewFest, so it's been great to see it up on a big screen um, with these wonderful, generous audiences and audiences that are part of the LGBT community. Now, you, who, you, tell, you said, you said, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kathy, and I wrote and um, I co-wrote with Daniel and I directed. Okay, so you co-wrote it. Co-wrote And you it. are? And, and I'm Devin, I'm the producer. You're the producer. Yes. Now, I think, did you raise funds to produce we this? We did a Kickstarter last I year. I applauded for that Kickstarter because I saw all these lists of people. How much did you raise in Kickstarter to make the movie? About 25? Yeah, yeah, yeah. close to $25,000. Yeah. Wow. We were floored by the yeah. response. Yeah. It was, uh, and we, what, what it was, was it because people had seen your show, the, the made-up show, or people, where, how did well, you we get... Were, we were very lucky in that... Um, we wound up getting a lot of interest from different news organizations as we were doing the Kickstarter. So Huffington Post Gay Voices wrote a story about us. Huffington Post Korea wrote about us. We had a piece on BuzzFeed. Margaret Cho tweeted about us. Um, so there were a lot of people out there who wanted to support because they want to see these sorts of stories be told in, by the people who experience them. And, and so uh, we just want to do justice to the story so that we can give them what they want to see. And it all started because Daniel just started posting these quotes from his mother. Oh, really? Like five years, I think about five years ago. So oh, really? Yeah. yeah, he just... Oh, you know, so this, just, this story... So how long did it take this creation, this... I'm going to say, how long did it take for this baby to gestate? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Great question. Um, the post started five years ago. Yeah. Kathy approached me in December of 2015 with the idea to turn it into a short film. Mm -hmm. And we started in January, had a script by March. Mm -hmm. And um, did Shot it, in what period of time? Uh, July. 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 We for did some week. stuff in the winter mm -hmm. and then uh, July for a week, seven mm -hmm. to ten days. Now, now where do you go from here? We have about two minutes left. Two minutes left. Okay. Um, 
So, uh, so this is actually now a pilot presentation, and right. we are developing a TV show based on it. Um, we Ooh. actually, uh, in addition to screening here, we're screening over the New York Television Festival, and we are hoping this week too. <laughs> yeah, this week as well. Um, and we have, uh, we actually have the first three episodes of a first season written, with the rest of the season plotted out, oh. and three seasons worth of no. plots to do. So we're hoping that we can get the interest in order to. Um, really be able to tell the story and show these characters in this relationship but, but, and how it develops. But the woman that's going to play mother <laughs> is going to be one of the most despised. There's no future for her. Well, She'll be the most hated woman in, I, in, in America. There'll I, be no I, more roles for her ever. I don't know. I, I think I Unless think, it's a wish or a mass murderer or I, something. I, I think one of the things that we're trying to do with this is to, yeah. is to show in this relationship how do you find the things about someone to love even when there's something about them that you hate and that kind of or that not that you hate but that you you can't oh, good. stand so we're going to humanize and, and we're so, going to yeah. humanize and, mommy and yes mommy. and so and so and that works in both directions good. because each of them have something about the now, other how, that they can't where can stand, people see where can people see clips of according to my mother uh, or see any excerpts or whatever according to my mother dot com really easy oh you have a whole yeah. website yeah. wow Twitter, instagram you, facebook you, tumblr just according <laughs> thank to my you mother. so much yeah. we're at 11 minutes and eight seconds and Great. I want to thank you all for a fantastic interview and I want to encourage everyone to see according to my mother because I can tell you it brought me to tears because I had an auntie that was just like his auntie and my mother was just as bad or worse than your mother so thank you so much I'm an openly I'm an openly prejudiced interviewer <laughs>